Azure Zhang. Okay, now um, I like to play everything, even if I don't know it. So I'm like, I'll play E4. No. <laughs> Zachy is subscribed. Yay. Karen's like, I got to learn the opening. And I'm like, all right, E4. And then he played E5. And when I play on the stream, I play either D4 or Bishop C4. But I figure I'll play like a normal person. So I just played the Rui Lopez. I'm like, eh. I've had white in this position once before. It was in like the National Open like 10 years ago. And I won a really nice positional game. And when the game ended, my opponent said, wow, you really understood the opening. And I went like, what? I've never had this position before. I've had it with black. Okay, so he played here. Now I played a sideline because I figure he's a kid. He'll know all the main lines. Mm -hmm. So I took and played D3. So it's a delayed exchange where they've played knight f6 already. Very positional and boring. I figured that's just my game. Yeah. <laughs> I was standing behind Ben. Man, you're always standing behind me. I don't know about this. Still theory. All right, he played queen, bishop g4. I attacked his bishop. Now if he plays bishop h5, I can play g4 to win this pawn. So he's sort of forced to take this. So he had the two bishops momentarily. Then we castled opposite sides. And then he started attacking me. Rawr! H5. Yeah, the engines always want me to play A4, but I don't know why. Confused about that. Okay, so I played here, and he played G5. Rawr! Now, I'm not scared of an attack when I'm playing a tournament game, because I figure I'll just, you know, stop it. So... Uh, I thought about queen f5, which is the engine move. And I thought after takes, takes f6, he was okay. But the engine likes white there. I guess I can put my knight back on e4. I don't know if I like white as much as the engine does here. I don't think I do. The engine like really likes white here. But I think I like barely like white. So I don't really agree with the evaluation. So I played knight e3. Because, you know, he weakened f5 a lot to play, you know, this. So I got the f5 square, play g4. So Karen, do I want to take and open the h file or not take and not open the h file? Um, That's tough. Um, I mean, you don't want to get mated. Right. But So if you're not going to open the attack. h file. Right. So where could your queen move where it's like a little safer than opening the h file? And queen f5. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, I want the queens off because he's trying to attack, but he gave away the f5 square. Yeah. Okay, so he played rook g8. He's playing for attack. Now, the engine doesn't like rook g8 and says I should trade queens, trade on g4, and then play g3, king g2, rook g1, etc. And instead, I play king h1, putting in an h. But I think the engine's right this time. And then play king g2, rook h1. This has a lot of weak pawns here. Mm hmm. I think that was a missed opportunity by me. Okay, so I played king h1. He played bishop c5. And then I moved my knight. I'm threatening this. So he defended it. I think bishop d4 is better. d4. Rook takes. Bishop c5. And this is all good what I did. The engine likes what I'm doing. Check. He can't, this is funny. He can't play king here because of this fork. And he can't play king here because of this fork. So he has to play one of these two. He can't play king here because of this fork. So he has to play one of these two silly moves. He played back here. And I attacked his bishop. This is a very strange square. And king. <clears throat> so now we just have an ending where I obviously have a much better pawn structure. And the engine says, you know, like almost winning. I thought this should be winning with correct play. And I made a very bad move soon. Okay, yeah, here I made a bad move. So the engine wants me to do something I didn't think of. It wants me, I thought my knight was great on d3. And the engine, said, and the Consuela version says no, no. It wants me to play knight e1 to d3, to f3, attacking his bishop. It likes playing that on f3 better than on, than on d3. So I wasn't thinking of this. 
I could just play g3 and be solid, but I wanted my king to be on f3. So I made a mistake here and I played this, totally overlooking that he has counterplay. I thought he has no counterplay. He's got double pawns, isolated pawn, isolated pawn, and my pawn structure is good. And this is probably strategically winning, and Carlson would be begging to have white here. Begging. Like, if Carlson was white here, he'd win very easily. But I made this really dumb move, and then he played rig g8 check, and I was like, oh. So I should go back to h3, which doesn't make any sense. Why am I doing this? The reason I shouldn't go here is he plays h4, and here comes rook g3 check. Okay. So king g3 was just a stupid move. And I, I saw that after rook g, I'm like, oh, that was dumb. But I still play king f3 anyway. All right, now I play the only move. What's the only move white can play here? Um, Otherwise, black is better. See, he wants to go here and then after kick to take. Terrible. All right, um, let's see. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Yay, 3,000 viewers. Thanks, Mark2357, either one or L. Hooray. I would think... Um, I don't have any... Hmm? The engine says I have three good moves here that don't lose. I thought you said there was only one. That's what I thought. Oh. What move would you play? Um. Yeah, King G3 see. was dumb. I would probably play Rook G1. There's no, no, oh, there's a bishop there. Um, Rook. Which stick to your guns. You'd still do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. If he go, if he checks you on g three, you can get away, can't you? If I go here, he takes this pawn, pawn. right? So, well, okay, then maybe knight e one. Knight e one is the third best move. Then e five is okay. Then after rook check, I can play king here, attacking his bishop, oh, okay. which I don't like. So I played g four in case Matt Larson was watching. I didn't even consider that at all. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the only move that he can play? Otherwise, he resigns. He only has one move that's not resigns. Um, this kid's like 13 years old that I'm playing, I think. I'm not sure. Um. Thanks, Dr. Krieger. It's raining Benz is my ringtone now. Nice. <laughs> well, you're the only one who has it. I mean, it's like you need to try to queen, but I don't know how you can do that. He's only got one move. Let's go back. I, mean, you should I played here. Right. Oh, well, I mean, I was looking at on post on. He has to do that. There's nothing else to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now he's a pawn up. Because he took a pawn. Uh, and he's threatening g2 winning. Okay. So what's the only move I can play? Although it says I have two moves. <laughs> but the only move that makes any sense. Other move's silly. Um, well, now it has to be maybe 91. That's what the engine says. Yeah, I play king g2. And then I'm going to play rook f3 and take the pawn and have the better end game. Oh, I like king. It says it's g2. equal. Okay, now here he played a move I thought was bad, but the engines all say it's the right move. I thought he should just let me take this and it's a drawn ending, which it probably is. But he, he played here going into the rook ending, which the engine says is drawn, but I, I like white here. So it's a draw because it's five pawns each. But okay, my, my majority is obviously better than his. He has doubled pawns over mm. here. Okay, he played here, which is not the best. King of pawn ending is winning for me, so he moved his rook. Now, what I did over the next 10 moves will shock the world.
I wonder if I did in the steering contest. I wanted to win this pawn. Because then I have two connected past pawns. Yeah. And I, I went to all measures to do it. And the engine says my move is the best. When I say I went to all measures, I gave everything else away so I could get two past pawns. <clears throat> now, I'd like to play e5 check, but he plays king d5. So I played c4. Now when I play e5 check, if it was my move, and he plays here, I play rook here and try to win this pawn. But this move gives all my pawns away. But I literally and figuratively didn't care. So I didn't play rook g2. I just went here. I said, take all my pawns. And he said, no talking. And now he can't save this pawn, so I'm going to have two connected past pawns. He's going to have four connected past pawns, but my pawns are better. Mm -hmm. My pawns are closer to queening. <clears throat> I can't save my pawn, but I don't care. You literally don't care. Nope. I just want to make my own queens. So here I missed, I missed a really obvious good move. Now let's go back. He can't play king e6 here because I checkmate him. And in this position, if he plays rook takes pawn check, I just move my king up and you know, my pawns are coming. So he played king d6, try to stop my king from moving up. I move my king up here. Right, now in this position, I missed a really good move. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should play rook d5. Because when he stops my pawn, I want to play rook e5. But I just didn't see that. Yeah, he can resign now. The game's over now. Yeah, I should have done that. But okay, I played rook d1, also winning. Rook e3, king f6. He took this, which surprised me, but it's a good move because he wants to play c2 and gain a tempo so his king can come over. I just thought this was stupid because his pawns are so weak. But this is really slow. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't get a tempo on my rook, so his king can never come over. So I can just play e7, king here, queen, take his rook and queen this pawn, because he's so slow. But this move, I can't do that, because he's going to play c2 attacking my rook, and then move his king over. So f5, c3, king f7, c2 here. Now his king can move over. But if he plays king here, I can play rook takes pawn, and then I can check him. So he played rook e2. Now he wants to move his king over. And unfortunately for him, it looks like we're both stymied here. But his rook is overworked. He's stopping me from queening, and he's stopping me from taking a c2 pawn. So whatever he does, I'm going to play rook c2 next move. It doesn't matter what he does. So he played c4. I took... And that was it. If he plays rook here to defend his pawn, I could take that pawn too. I probably would just check and then queen, but it's still funny. So I gave up all of my pawns on the queen side so I could get these two connected past center pawns. And then we went from no past pawns to six past pawns. What else? But yeah, just to show you like if he played a normal move like b4. So e7, king f7, queen... Takes, takes, and then he tries to queen. Now here, I can win with this, but I have a more human way of winning. What's the human move that wins here? I like that better. It's the human touch. Um. Grandmasters like to stop counterplay. How do I stop both of his pawns? Let's see. How do you stop both? Mm -hmm. I can because I'm big. You're sort of <laughs> small, so you. Like if I stood right here, that you know. Ugh. F five is the computer move because it wins just, quicker. Um, I guess you could go. Just rook B one. Rook B one. Then he can't. Then that's it. If he goes here to try to come over here, I, mm -hmm. I can I can just play this. So he can't do anything. He can't he, nothing. It was annoying. Thanks, Mr. Hardbiz. 
Now it turns out this wins more quickly because the computer says so. And then queen h6 check. And here's the idea. You ready for the idea? Yeah. He has to go here because there's no other legal king move. Mm -hmm. And then I go queen h1 check. And then I can take this. <laughs> there's something I'm not going to do. Okay. So, so he played bc. That way he can attack my rook quickly. And now it looks like he stopped me, except I can play rook takes c2. Otherwise, he did stop me. And then he resigned, and it says I'm plus a billion. Yay. <laughs> yeah, so that was good. I gave up all my pawns to get two connected pass pawns. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Why not rook d3? Oh, yeah, because of b2, right. You just lost a game? You mean an online game? Or no, an anything but that. e7 instead of king f7 fails. No. No, e7 is the same. e7, f6. It's the same position. I hope Archer's going to bed. I hear movement. Oh, you mean here? You mean e7 here? That does fail. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah, then c2, and then he moves his king, I guess. Yeah, this is a draw. Yeah, that's a big fail. Yeah, this, this my pawns are both protected, and I'm threatening to play either one. Yeah, Grandmaster Gus stick to poker. Yeah, e7 would be a blunder of <laughs> colossal, you know, proportions. That Now I'm fighting for a draw and for a sandwich. Yeah. What was the time format? 40 and 90, game in 30 with a 30-second increment from move one. Pretty, pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Karen yeah. is the best. Well, I am, except for not at chess. <laughs> I only won one game. But what a game. Sacrificing a piece. I did Beating off the opponent's attack. I did sack a bishop. Mm-hmm. But, you know, try better next time. We've looked at three of my games. Now, I haven't done this. Let's go back and do it. How did Ben do? Well, five and a half, right? Out of yeah. Let's do the cap score. Nine. Let's see, how do you do that? Analysis. Game review. All right, let's do game reviews. Because I, I haven't done that, so I don't know how I played. Bad, I assume. Oh, that looks good. Good thing it's still there. Game review. No, they're going to complain they can't see the board. I'm going to literally not care. And figuratively. All right, this is doing the review. This is doing You had a mediocre tournament, P. Schneider? What, you were there? Wow, that's different. At the Easter holidays, oh, so probably yeah, point five out of seven. Boo. I lost like twenty five rating points, and for the first time in over thirty years, I'm under twenty five hundred USCF. So I suck. Do you have to set a goal and get that back up? My goal is twenty four hundred. <laughs> yes, I'm getting closer. And you got to get that get that back up. Dr drive dr drive to Foxwoods. You what? can join the. It's got thirty hour drive. <laughs> you can join the chess punks. <laughs> On Twitter. Well, why is that funny? Because you know you're a grandmaster. Yeah. Not really a chess punk. I'm a chess punk. Didn't I do game nails game review? Okay, so in round one, I know you guys can't see it, but I don't care. In round one. I played 98.8, .8 and he played 99.1. Neither one of us made an inaccuracy. No inaccuracies, no mistakes, no blunders, no missed wins. That's yeah. pretty good. That's, yeah. the guy, that's the guy who did really well. You guys both did great. Yeah, we went to the casino two or three times. Oh, Adjusted can't. accuracy after oh, we yeah. try. It's the they, same. They can't see the H5. So we, so we play good. Yeah, I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing going on right now. So just Thanks, Eric it. the Clown. A hype train is close? A third hype train? Wow. 
Wow, I played 98 point. He played 99.1. Damn. Yeah, it was fun. I didn't realize how good we were. We had fun hanging out with Gus. All right, next game. And playing chess. The game that I lost where I was winning the whole game and I blundered, I played 74.8 and he played 82.5. Mm-hmm. We both made one great move. He made nine inaccuracies, one mistake. I made four inaccuracies, two mistakes, two blunders. That game wasn't as good. And then the game I just showed you that I won that end game, uh, it's still analyzing it. It's still thinking about it. This game. 